Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Capricorn. This is going to be for your February 2023. You're going to apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. So uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for February. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what the possible outcome and advice are, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Tell me about Capricorn here. Over energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know for February 2023 for Capricorn? Tell me about Capricorn here. Tell me about Capricorn. The lovers in the Four of Cups here. Gemini energy here with the lovers. The Hierophant here and the Seven of Swords. There's a situation that you're not happy in regarding love here. Yeah, someone here broke some pro broke a huge promise here. Someone here was deceptive. Someone here was lying to you. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like you guys, some of you guys sabotaged your own selves because I feel like you could have been in this energy of allowing someone to cross your boundaries here. And you're 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 and you sort of like broke your own moral code or your core values here. And I feel like you're trying to find that alignment again or that you're trying to realign yourself again here uh capricorn okay uh queen of swords here and a ton of cups seems like you've been through a lot with this person here it seems like you might have gone cold on somebody here yeah a situation ended here you were really disappointed with this individual okay um i feel like you gave this person a chance here okay but i feel like this person time and time has proved to you that they were really, really selfish here. They really took advantage of you. Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups here. Yeah, it just seems like you're trying to realign yourself again. I feel like you sacrificed yourself. You sacrificed yourself in order for this person to like you or that you're trying to uh, get this person to change or that you're trying to make life easier for this person because they maybe have a they, 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 they maybe have a really hard childhood or something like that or that this person's depressed or that this person's life is going not well. So I feel like you try to make it easy for this individual by sacrificing yourself here. Queen of Swords here and the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here, the Ten of Cups here, and the Sun. What we have here, through this experience here, Capricorn, you're really wised up here, okay? I feel like you've learned a lot from the situation here, or that you just perhaps just had an awakening here regarding the situation, and I feel like you're finding your happiness again. I feel like you are finding that alignment here, okay? You are finding that alignment again because you were misaligned. Yeah, you were doing something that was breaking your moral code, breaking your core values here. Does that make sense? So uh, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the Sun, Leo energy. Yeah, you're going through an awakening. Um, I'll come at advice here for Capricorn regarding your situations. What else does Capricorn need to know? Look out for, work on here for February 2023 for Capricorn. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the King of Pentacles here in the Death card. Okay, Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Swords. Ooh, this person's not doing well. Yeah, this person wants to come back around. This person's not okay with things, uh, with things ending here with you. So you could have ended things with this person. Yeah, you could have been like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving myself up for you anymore. You know, so uh, Queen of Cups here and the Knight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles here and the Death card. Yeah, whoever this is, this person's definitely rushing back in. 
they're not okay with this ending here. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Death card here, Scorpio energy. Uh, Ace of Cups. We have the Six of... Yeah, someone here is definitely coming back around here. Capricorn, Nine of Swords here, and the Two of Cups. Whoever this is, this person's looking for a reconciliation. Yeah, this person's looking for a reconciliation. You know, it could be that also, you know, a past life soulmate might be coming coming around or that you're meeting a past life soulmate soon. This is like in your orbit here. Yeah, this person's not in your energy field, but this person's in your orbit. Queen of Cups here and the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands here, and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You know, I just feel like, you know, there's an energy of finding your freedom here, okay? You know, I feel like there's an energy of you healing from your insecurities here or your fears. Uh, there's definitely a lot of healing work being done because, like I said, there is a, an alignment that's happening here for you or that you're getting realigned again here, okay? So Temperance Sagittarius energy, whoever this masculine is, this King of Pentacles that's trying to come back around, this person's holding on to you tight, holding on to dear life here. This person does not want to let you go because I feel like you provided something that this person wanted from you. Okay, it could be like a safety net. It could be that you, you were really generous with this person. You know, maybe you're paying for this person's bills or that you're paying for this person's uh, 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 electric bill or something like that. But I, I, I feel like this person could be coming back around because it's kind of like, oh my God, I cannot, do, cannot be without Capricorn because how am I gonna pay for my food? How am I gonna pay for my electricity bill? You know, uh, where am I? Um, you know, it just seems like a bit of a freeloader energy, okay? Because whoever this is, yeah, this person was really selfish or is really selfish. And they feel like, like I said, I feel like you really sacrificed yourself a lot by giving a lot of rope for this person to hang themselves. And I feel like this is something that you're done with here. You know, this person wants a new beginning. They want to heal the connection. Whoever this is, this person's definitely stepping up to the plate here. Thing is, I feel like with the Queen of Swords here, you don't trust this person. Seven of Wands here, you're blocking this person. Two of Wands and the Nine of Wands here, you're just really traumatized by, by this whole situation. Seven of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Three of Wands here, this is something that you're dropping. Yeah, this is, you're feeling like this person became a burden here. I feel like this person was like a financial liability here. I, I, that's what I feel because I feel like this person was taking a lot from you. Yeah, you're disengaging, Capricorn. You're learning your lessons here, okay? You're learning some big lessons. Um, perhaps about boundaries. Yeah, perhaps about boundaries, having f strong, firm boundaries and really, really following those core values that you live by. You know, when you live by those core values and you really follow them, you know, uh, this can't happen to you. You're going to come across like complete assholes and complete bitches, absolutely. But you're going to deal with them in a much better way, okay? So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. Um, if it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.